Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is still Saturday, November 21st, 2020. This is 2020. I'm the Drunk Poker Tis Beer Time. So I'm getting ready to have another beer from the Amsterdam YYZ Flight Pack. Available at the LCBO, 1295. Mm -hmm, 1295, mm -hmm, four great IPAs. We just had Hazy, uh, the double IPA. And I'm getting ready. I'm like, oh, you know, I've had all these beers before, so not a big deal. I'm just going to drink them and enjoy them. Maybe make a little Instagram poke. It okay, doesn't really matter, right? So I'm going through. I'm like, have I ever had that? I've never, nope, never had this one before. Hazy Town, award-winning. Vermont style IPA, 5.7%. This is the lowest ABV beer in this pack, by the way. Uh, yeah, so good for Amsterdam. You know what? I, I think Amsterdam kind of gets lost in the shovel sometimes because they've been around so long. Because they just they deliver solid beers all the time. You know, I mean, honestly, if you talk about you know Bone Shaker, Fracture, Fracture is one of my favorite double IPAs. Double Tempest is one of my favorite bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts of all time. I look forward to it every year. In this family, our tradition is on Christmas Eve, we drink last year's, our final bottle of last year's Double Tempest on Christmas Eve. Part of the reason we went today, it's very important, in a year where everything is off kilter, we're making sure that we continue family, some family traditions to try and keep some semblance of normalcy. I'm talking fast because I don't want this video to be seven minutes long. Mm. Anyways, so I had not this. Ah, what the hell, we'll go back on. You know, sometimes with the videos, and it's funny, water, and have a water. Have a beer, have a water, have a beer, have a water. It's a good, it's a good coping mechanism so you don't have too many beers. Maybe a few more waters. <laughs> just saying. Um, you know, sometimes they just come. Some days it's, you make one, you're like, I'm good. Some days it's like four. I'm not that planned out. I'm not that smart. I just drink beer. So anyways, let's talk about this one now. I can't believe I haven't had it. Like, what have I been doing? Just been wandering the streets, not drinking a hazy IPA. Again, again. Yes, I am a fan of West Coast IPAs. They're my favorite style of beer. However, I do like the hazies too. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Ooh, a touch of dank, orange grapefruit, peach, pineapple. Go. Cheers. Done. Clearly why. Uh, to style. Again, these beers should be juicy, tropical, softly bitter, um, accessible. This is the whole thing. This I mean it's driven the craft beer explosion, whether we like it or not, whether you you know whether you don't like hazies, and we have I have friends who <laughs> detest them to such a level that it's, it's become a you, you got to see somebody. Um, but no, and I get that because they feel like it cheapens the market. And I don't I, I I'm gonna disagree only in that. Whatever helps people drink better beer, because then it funds those breweries to make the beers that you want. It lets them make the sticky oats. It lets them make the double tempest. It lets them make the beers, you know, that make you think about beer. You know, these are the beers that are popular, and, they, and they, they're well done. This is good peach, uh, pineapple, grapefruit, pithy, dankness, juicy, tropical. And this sells, and then that helps to fund the beers that, you know, maybe the nerd inside of us wishes we could see. Let's face it. Marzans aren't friggin' crushing the market right now. You know, hazy IPAs are what people want to drink. There's nothing wrong with making the, making the beer to pay the bills, you know, and then you get to make the beer you want to make. You know, I'm, I'm sure everybody wants to make a hazy IPA because why not? Because they're fun to drink. So why can't you brew this and that and do them very, very well? And that's what that's what Amsterdam does well. You know, this is not you know a beginning brewery. This is a a well-established, legendary Canadian brewery that does things very big and does them very well. You know, Three Speed is an excellent lager, right? And to do an excellent lager on a large scale is not easy to do. So I appreciate this. I appreciate Double Tempest, and I love seeing the Stick It Alt, and I love seeing the Marzans and the Milds. Like, come on. That's the stuff that, that is intriguing, and we can't let those styles go. So thank you, Amsterdam, for doing that, for brewing the stuff everybody wants to drink, you know, the stuff everybody goes crazy for, for brewing legends like Bone Shaker, and for, for, for keeping those styles alive, maybe, so that eventually as people get into this, they're like, well, what other things are there? And that's what's going to happen. What other things are there? And they go, oh, what's this? Oh, Marzan, you know, or this, you know, th th this lager, this Pilsner, they, they come around. So keep going, keep going. Drink your hazy IPAs. Experiment with other styles and you will reach that nirvana of beer where you're like, you appreciate good beer, regardless of style. And that's important. So there we go. Cheers, my friends. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. I got two more beers in this pack and then maybe some Double Tempest. So I'm sure my night's going to be great. Cheers.
tomorrow morning it might be a little 